welcome to the object oriented programming in python and in this episode we are going to talk about the inheritance in python we have done with classes and objects so inheritance as the name suggests it inherit the properties functionality from the parent class to the child class just like every child get some of the functionality inherited from his parents then same thing comes up here so it's a inheritance so you can see i have created a simple class called polygon and inside this init method i just define the sites and just say self dot sites is equal to the sites given so let's create another class and this class is actually a square okay so what we want to do we need to do same thing here so and let's try to use the square method so i will say square sqr is a square and now i will provide four because this is on init method so as we define the object or as we initializing it we need to give the sites so this is good and now if i say print a square that means sqr dot sites it will result to four this is good but you can see we are repeating ourselves we are using the same thing in two classes but you can see this square is a polygon so why not inherit this class so how i can inherit the polygon class in square class it's very easy you just need to use this parenthesis and in the parenthesis let's define your class which is polygon so because this is an empty class if i try to run this we are getting error because this class is empty and if a class is empty you need to give a pass keyword so that python will go inside and it will say okay i don't have to do anything here and because this is inheriting so now if i run it yes you can see we are getting four but how this is going to work so let's see whenever we are inheriting the any class with the bigger class or the parent class then all the functionality of the parent class comes inside the child class so here the parent class functionality this init method is coming here great so we have used that sites functionality just by using the square class so let's create another function here and this function is called area and you know a square uses just the length to find the area so it just return length uh, it just return length multiply by length that's it so how we can do these things now because we are again inheriting we can use the area function of this polygon class from our square object so a square dot area with let's say i will give five centimeter so if i run it five five the 25 is here so we are getting the answer so this is because of the inheritance but suppose i create another class so class of let's say triangle so triangle class i have used and it's a, it's a also a polygon so i can inherit polygon class inside this triangle class that's good and we need to give the pass statement but you can see these two things that means square and triangle doesn't have the same formula for creating the area so one thing what we can do because we don't want to use this formula we want to create a new formula for triangle we can rewrite that function so the same function i'm writing here but this time if we try to use this function it will call from triangle method not from the polygon so let's first continue, complete this so it will say height and base so now it will be like returning of 0 0.5 multiplied by height multiplied by base this is the formula for using the area calculating the area of a triangle okay so now what 
I am going to do let's just comment this out for now create a new object of triangle class providing the sides which are three and this time I'm going to print triangle dot area and let's give two things one is height and another is we know base but if we run this we will get error because this is saying that area take two position argument but three given obviously three because two are argument and one is actual self so it required two we have given three total so this is giving error but what if i uncomment this and try to run again and yes you can see we are getting the area which is 7.5 why this happens because we have overridden the area function or area method from here so now we can just remove the pass method and still it's going to work fine so this is very very useful thing in inheritance that you can overwrite any functionality you want so this is very nice you can see this square class is looking empty but because it is inheriting it has these two functions and again this triangle class also has these two functions but this one the area function we have overridden let's just use some of the built-in functionality to check who is the instance of which class so I'm going to print and I will say is instance so I'm going to check if a square sqr is an instance of a square or not so let's just comment these things and try to run it and it says yes sqr is an instance of a square but what if i say triangle try to run it it says no this is not an instance of triangle but what if i say polygon hmm this is interesting and yes it's saying true it's not an instance of a square no it's an instance of a square because actually the square class is also inheriting the polygon class so similar to is instance there is another function which is called is subclass so subclass of any other class or not so let's just check polygon is a subclass of a square so s q u a r e so we need to check this so obviously this has to be with capital p and capital s run it and it says no this is not a case so what if i change the positions and we know this is going to be true and run it and yes it is true so this means we can check whether any class is an instance of other class or not these things are good but what if you want to add some functionality to your class but that functionality is not available in the polygon class that means the base class so here you can see we have the sides but what if i try to define the init method here and here i will say not side i will say square perimeter so i'm going to get the perimeter and not any pass so i will say self dot perimeter perimeter is equal to perimeter okay so we have done this so what happened to this system if we try to use a square instance and getting the perimeter of a square so let's try to use the perimeter and let's see it's saying four but we want the side also the sides also and the perimeter also so how we can get that so let's try to get the sides okay it says error it says there is no attribute called sides why this happens because you know this init method is overridden by this init method of polygon so now when we call the init method when init method is called from a square class this is already have so the python doesn't go inside the 
base class or the parent class but how we get the functionality of parent class also here is the thing on this init method of square class we need to say super and inside the super and then after that we need to say underscore underscore init and here we just need to pass the sides so what we are doing here actually super means the parent class so we are calling the parent class init method and passing the sides so this means we need to grab the sides from the user end also so whatever the side we are getting we are passing that side to the parent init method and which is just defining on the self so now if i run that you can see previously we are getting error but now if we give square parameter as uh, let's say 10 and the side is 4 so the side will comes up to be 4 here and obviously we can also grab the parameter now and like this and in that way we have overridden the init method but using the original method of parent class also so this is all about the inheritance and how you can inherit the parent class on a child class how you can override a function or how you can use the parent function and overridden function both at the same time so if you have liked these episodes please go and share these video with your developer friends so that everyone get the knowledge of python like bitfumes on facebook twitter instagram and you can subscribe to this channel for more advanced python related tutorials and we will meet in the next episode till then goodbye